Today we're going to be taking a look at a 2023 Toyota Sienna 25th Anniversary Special Edition All-Wheel Drive. Let's get started. The 25th Anniversary Special Edition is a new trim level for this year and it's only going to be available this year. It's limited to 2,525 units and it's based off of the XSE model. The only way to tell that yours is a 25th Anniversary Special Edition is this badge in the back here that says 25 years. And the 25th Anniversary Edition is available as an all-wheel drive or a front-wheel drive. The one that we're going to take a look at today is an all-wheel drive version. With the regular Sienna being already tough to find because of supply chain issues, this 25th Anniversary Special edition is extremely hard to get a hold of. In this overview, we're going to go over the exterior and then we're going to jump inside and talk about some of the features. But as usual, we're going to start under the hood. So under the hood of this Sienna, we have the same 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that powers all of the current model year Siennas. It makes an estimated net combined horsepower of 245 and is connected to an eCVT transmission. The gas mileage is going to be 35 in the city and 36 on the highway. The 25th anniversary Sienna with all-wheel drive starts at $48,180, and this one here as spec has an MSRP of $50,999. And before we get started with the exterior of this 25th anniversary Sienna, I wanted to take a very quick moment to thank you guys all for subscribing to the channel. We just recently passed 10,000 subscribers. So if you guys scroll down and see that you're not subscribed yet and you're a regular viewer of my channel and you enjoy these videos, please make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and helps me make more videos like this. Now let's continue on with the video. Starting off with the exterior, there are two color options available for the 25th anniversary Sienna. There's windchill pearl, which is that pearl white color. And then there is this, the celestial silver metallic. Moving over here to the very front, you can see because this is based off of the XSE trim level, we have this very sporty front grille down here, and there's also going to be some parking sensors. Just down below that, over here off to the sides, we have our fog lights, and just above the fog light, you can see sort of this, again, sport style pattern, but it's totally going to be blocked off over here. So it's just going to make the Sienna look a little bit cooler, but it's not functional at all. Moving up a little bit more, we do have our headlights over here. These are fully LED headlights with an LED daytime running light built in. In. You can also see there's a little bit of chrome also right here just above the headlight and it sort of leads into the middle here where we have some black plastic and our blue Toyota emblem because this is a hybrid. Moving up a little bit to the windshield at the very top you can see that there's a camera mounted just behind that rear view mirror and that's because the Siennas have Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 so we have that camera as well as a radar that's built in behind the Toyota emblem to help with some of these safety features. Moving over to the side of the Sienna, let's go ahead and take a look at these wheels and tires. So like I mentioned earlier, these are the silver slash chrome 18 inch wheels. The tire size here is 235-60 R18. And there are gonna be two different wheel options for the 25th anniversary Sienna. If you get the all wheel drive, this is the style and color that you're gonna get. But if you do get the front wheel drive 25th anniversary Sienna or the XSE Sienna for that matter, because this is based off of the XSE model, you are gonna get those black wheels. And while we're down here, we can take a look at this little side rocker right here, which is in black to add for some accents around the car. What is also black over here is gonna be our side mirror. The side mirror is black to add for a little bit of nice contrast here. And you can see that there is a turn signal indicator built into the side. Blind spot monitor is standard and these are also heated power mirrors. There is a button inside that you can press to fold these mirrors in or when you lock the car, you can have them automatically fold in. There is also a lot of chrome that goes around the windows over here and in between the front and rear doors, there is gonna be this regular black plastic over here, which as a little warning does start to fade over time. It'd be nice if they put some gloss black over here. Let's take a look at our door handles, which do have some chrome on there. There is keyless entry, so we can tap right here to lock the Sienna. You can see the mirror starts to fold in right there. And then to unlock the Sienna, we just have to have the key nearby, place your hand right behind the handle, and it's gonna be unlocked. Over here on the rear window, we have a couple of stickers, and most of these are normal, except for this one right here, important advisory. This basically lets you know that, hey, because of supply chain issues and parts shortages, the Siennas right now are only coming with one key remote and a second blade. So you're not getting a second remote right now. And this little notice is basically just telling you that, hey, at some point here in the future, Toyota is gonna mail you the second remote. So if you are gonna be purchasing one of these, just keep in mind that you're not gonna get a second remote right away just because they're having an issue with uh, supplying some of these. And also one of the other stickers over here lets you know that as long as you have the key nearby, you can actually just kick right underneath this little sensor right here to open up this rear door. So you can see I have the key in my pocket. I'm just gonna go ahead and kick right down here and the door is gonna open up by itself. There's also a couple of other ways to open and close this door. You have this button right here on this door handle that you can push or you can just pull on this handle and it'll open or close. 
Back here behind that rear door, we have our fuel door. The Sienna takes 18 gallons of regular 87 gas. Moving up to the top of the Sienna, you can see that the 25th anniversary edition, just like an XSE model, is gonna come with the moonroof up here. And we also have these black roof rails at the very top. At the very end over there, there is a black shark fin antenna. So a lot of black accents around this van. Moving on to the rear now, we have our rear glass back here, as well as our rear wiper. Moving over here to the center, there is gonna be a lot of black badges, and the black badges are actually standard for this model. It's not an extra accessory or anything, so we have our Sienna spelled out letter by letter, black Toyota emblem here with that blue because it's a hybrid. Down at the bottom left, 25 years, all-wheel drive. On the right side, it says XSE hybrid, and we also have our rear parking sensors in the back here too. Very well hidden, but there is a single exhaust tip hanging from the passenger side. Let's open the tailgate and take a look at the cargo area. There is a few ways to open up the tailgate. The easiest way is just gonna to be to go to the back and push the button, but you can also use the key. There's a button inside, or you can even just kick underneath in the center. So just like the side doors, you can just kick and it'll open and close. In the cargo area of the Sienna now, we've got a couple of goodies back here. So firstly, there's a first aid kit. We also got two headphones because we do have the entertainment screen in the second row as one of the options for this Sienna. We'll go ahead and take a look at that screen later. But also back here, we do get these special floor mats for this Sienna. They say Sienna 25 years on them. So those are gonna go inside the front cabin later. We can also see while we're back here that if you're not gonna use the third row, you can just fold the chairs down flat and they'll be flush like this here with the floor. And if you are gonna be using the third row, then you still get plenty of cargo space because it opens up all of this space underneath that the third row chairs would be occupying if they were folded down. Also in the cargo area over here on the right side, there is a AC 120 volt, 1500 watt power outlet. And back here behind this little panel is gonna be your 12 volt battery. All right, next up, we're gonna jump inside and talk about some of the interior features. But as usual, we're gonna start here with the door panel. The door panel is made up of some soft touch plastic, hard touch plastic, and a little bit of leather over here. At the very bottom, you have room for about three water bottles. We have one of our 12 interior JBL speakers, a little storage shelf over here for some more objects, and another storage pocket right here, which you can use to open and close this door. Auto up down windows on all four corners, window lock, lock and unlock for the whole van, mirror controls. Right next to that is your auto folding mirror controls. There's also a silver door handle up here and two memory seat positions. As you're getting in, you can take a look at this Sienna plaque right here on the door sill. Let's take a look at the interior seats next. So we do have these black leather seats. This is gonna be the only interior color option if you opt for a 25th anniversary edition. And Toyota calls this their black leather, but it does also show a little bit of white through this perforation here in the seat. And this is a real leather seat. It's not Toyota's fake leather soft text material. It's gonna be actual real leather. Moving down to the bottom of the seat here, you can see we do have power seat controls and lumbar support, but the lumbar support is only for the driver. The passenger also gets power seat controls, but no lumbar support. Next up, we've got a lot of buttons over here at the bottom of the steering wheel, which we're gonna go over. So we have traction control off over here, automatic high beams, on and off switch for that 120 volt power outlet, brightness for the center gauges, odometer, trip reset, opening for the fuel door, you can press this button right here to turn off your power doors if people are messing with the doors too much. And down here at the very bottom, you can release the hood. Just above that, there's a little storage shelf over here. And if you need to adjust the position of your steering wheel, you can do that electronically using this little dial right here. You don't have to release a manual lever. Sitting inside of the 25th anniversary special edition Sienna now, we can take a look at this leather wrapped steering wheel over here. And this leather steering wheel also has these like holes in them. So it's kind of just like the seats. It's got a little bit of perforation to the leather here. We have our airbag and horn in the center and also plenty of steering wheel controls. Left side is gonna control the center display for our gauges. The right side has some of our safety features like the radar cruise control and the lane depart assisting. And then the bottom row is gonna control your audio and multimedia functions. Behind the steering wheel, we have our turn signal indicators. You can see the headlights are also set to auto. On the right side, you have your wiper controls. And then we have our blue start stop button. So let's go ahead and turn on this Sienna and see what it looks like.
And if you noticed in that little startup graphic on this four inch screen, it did say XSE on the startup. It didn't say 25th anniversary edition. So it really shows you how little work Toyota really did to the XSE to make this a special edition. It kind of feels like it is just a total rip of the XSE model with some special floor mats and a special badge. So it sort of feels like Toyota could have done more with this because even when you turn this Sienna on, it said XSE, it wouldn't have taken much work for them to put a little graphic that said Sienna 25th anniversary edition. Over here, we can take a look at our gauges. So like I said, we have this four inch display, which we can configure using these buttons on the steering wheel here to show all sorts of different information. We have our settings over here, warning messages. Over here on the right side, we have our speedometer and our fuel indicator. And the left side has this hybrid system indicator where you would normally see a tachometer. So to let you know if you're in charge, eco, or power. You can see that the parking brake is up, my seatbelt is off, and this green little box right here that says ready lets you know that the car is on and it's ready to be driven because it's so quiet being that it's a hybrid. Next to that power button, we also have our emergency lights over here, and now we can focus on this center screen over here. This is a nine inch touchscreen, and by today's standards, this is Toyota's old software. So Toyota's new software has wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. The software that we have in the Sienna still uses wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto. It doesn't have the Google Maps integration, so we have this kind of like old school Toyota built map. And just by today's standards, it is a little bit outdated, but you can still just plug in and have everything displayed from your phone. It would be nice to see if Toyota added their new software to the Siennas this year, like they did in so many of their other cars, but they didn't do it for whatever reason. But if you are into having the shortcut buttons and also the tune knob, that's something that has been going away as Toyota has been switching to the newer software. They've been keeping the volume knobs, but we've seen on all of their newer screens that use the new software, there are no shortcut buttons and no more tune knobs. Now, just underneath the screen, we have our HVAC controls. You can see that this is a two zone climate control here in the front. There are also two zones in the back. So it's a total of a four zone climate control system. And we also have heated and ventilated seats for the driver and the passenger side. Underneath those climate controls, you can see that there's this whole entire shelf right here that pretty much stretches across the entire dashboard. So we have from this power button all the way almost to the very end of where the passenger side door panel is. There's this huge shelf for you to place objects on and there is a wireless phone charger over here as well. But from what I've noticed, your phone will tend to sort of slide around a little bit. There is also a USB-A port over here, which is gonna be the media port. So if you wanna use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, this is gonna be the port to plug into. We have our shifter over here, which is very nice. We have this leather boot. We can take a look at this reverse camera as well, which is also pretty grainy. We have noticed that Toyota has been also updating the reverse cameras when they're putting the new software into their cars. So hopefully in the next year or two, when the Siennas get the updated software, they'll also put in the higher definition reverse camera. There is also a sport mode on this shifter. So if you wanna simulate the shifting of gears going up and down, this is an eCVT transmission, so you're not actually shifting gears. It's only pretending to shift gears for you if you choose to do that. Over here, you can see we have our electronic parking brake, which does go up and down automatically as you put the car in and out of park. There is a brake hold feature, EV mode, and then we also have three different drive modes over here so we can switch between sport, normal, and eco. And you'll know that you're being switched around because on the screen right there, you can see I'm sport, normal, and eco right there as I just adjust this little knob right here. We also have plenty of cup holders over here. So we've got one and two right here. We can open up this area for three and four. And then pressing this button reveals our center console. It kind of opens up to the side a little bit where we have a USB type C and a USB type A port. There is no 12 volt power outlet inside this center console, but we do have a 12 volt power outlet in this sort of center pass through area. You can see here, I'm gonna hop out here for a second. Let's close this up. Let's turn off the car. I'll show you guys sort of how this looks like. The entire center console sort of floats up above and you can see there's kind of like this pass through that's created where you can place any sort of objects as you're driving. I've seen a lot of people place, for example, like their purse as they drive down here. It's a great space, but we do also have that 12 volt power outlet down there. Next up, we're gonna jump into the passenger side of the Sienna, but here we have the window sticker. So you can see it's an XSE all wheel drive 25th anniversary. So at least it does say 25th anniversary on the sticker, but you can see it still is a XSE model. And like I mentioned earlier, it starts at 48,180 and MSRP is 50,999. 
The passenger side door panel is going to be more or less the same as what we saw on the driver side. Another one of those 12 interior JBL speakers. Over here we just have less mirror and window controls. And there is also going to be no lumbar support for the passenger side. Now jumping into the passenger seat here, we can see we have the continuation of this shelf over here so the passenger can place any of their objects right here. And there is a locking glove box down here where we can place some of the literature and any paperwork that we have. Now the glove box in the Sienna is a little bit small for the size of this van. While we're sitting over here, we can take a look at these A-pillars where we have our JBL tweeters. And let's take a look at this rear view mirror. This is an auto dimming rear view mirror. So if you wanna just turn that on, you press the power button. And this mirror does also have home link. So we have these three buttons where we can connect our remotes and open up our garages and gates. And moving up from that, we have this little area, which at first it looks like a sunglass holder, but it's really just a mirror where you can see what's going on with the people behind you without really having to turn all the way around. Then we have our emergency SOS button. Light controls are over here. And then you also have your sunroof controls and opening and closing for the side doors, driver side and passenger side, as well as the cargo area. Just above that, we have our sunroof, which we can just kind of manually open and close this shade right here. And then we have these buttons over here to open or tilt the sunroof. Next up, let's take a look at these visors. So these visors are a rather big size. We can open this up where we have a mirror and a light. You can also swivel these visors around like this, or you can also extend them if you need that extra coverage. So it's nice to see that the entire visor extends all the way out. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the second row now. And another way to open up these rear doors is actually to use the key. So we can hold down on the left side right here, and that's gonna go ahead and open up the driver's side rear door. So taking a look at the second row here now, what's really cool about these seats is that you do have the Ottoman style chairs that you see in the Limited and the Platinum Siennas. So you can see I've already extended out this passenger side one over here. So you can really kind of lay down in the second row chair and kick your legs back a little bit. Now that we're sitting back here in the second row, we can see that there is a pocket behind the passenger and a pocket behind the driver's side over here. Also, if you're gonna be sitting here, you do have a USB type A and a USB type C port. Right below those USBs, we have a second 120 volt, 1500 watt power outlet over here and an HDMI port. The HDMI port is only gonna come on your Sienna if you get the entertainment package, which this one has. We'll take a look at the screen in just a second, but we also have two cup holders over here. Another really cool thing about these chairs is that you don't have anything here in the middle, so it makes it really easy to go into the third row. And there are these little net pockets right here on the side of the chairs. So if you wanna place any water bottles or anything like that, you can do so very easily. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this screen. To open up the screen, there's the button right over here and the screen will sort of fold down. You do kind of have to use your hand to sort of put it in the right position. But with the Sienna on, if you open this up, this screen will turn on. Now the Siennas that come with the entertainment package and the screen are gonna come with those two headphones that we saw in the back as well as a remote. And you are gonna be connecting via HDMI, which is just down there. Now we can go ahead and take a look at the other two climate control zones that we have. So the controls are gonna be right over here and those controls are gonna be over here just in front of that entertainment screen. You have auto off and then you can adjust the temperature. Different one for the driver, different one for the passenger. The vents for that are gonna be right up here. You can open them and close them just like this. And then you do also have a little light here. The door is open so that the light is on right now. Sitting here in the second row, another really cool thing is that you do get these sunshades or peasant blockers as I like to call them. So a very nice touch to being in the second row. And really, I've been saying this for a while, I think the second row is the best place to travel in the Sienna. It's just such a comfortable place to be. We have our window control right here, a storage pocket down below, cup holder right there, a little grab handle to make it very easy to get in and out. And down over here, just below this little handle, kind of in between the seat and the door, there is a button that you can push to open and close this door. So there's so many different ways to open and close the doors of these Siennas. And next up, we're gonna jump into the third row, which I've already put up and I've reclined the chairs a little bit to make it somewhat comfortable for me to get back there. So all of the 25th anniversary Siennas are gonna seat seven people. So we're gonna have two, two, and three. There's three chairs back here. We do have a middle seat and the seatbelt for that is gonna be just up here at the very top. The third row also gets their own climate control vents and light control up here. 
These air vents are gonna be controlled using the temperature of the climate control zone in the second row. And over here, you also get some cup holders. We have a small one and a larger one, USB type A and type C. This is only gonna be over here on the passenger side. The driver's side, third row, doesn't get the USBs, but we do get this little volume knob right here. So if you are wearing those headphones, you can control the volume of what you're seeing on that screen. That's also gonna be over here on the passenger side. So that's going to do it for this video of the 25th anniversary special edition 2023 Sienna. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I want to once again thank everyone for subscribing and helping us recently hit 10,000 subscribers. And again, if you haven't subscribed so yet and you enjoy these type of videos and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next week.